Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a review of the Freshwater and Saltwater Master Test Kit from Fritz. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage, stand by. All right, fishy folks, first a quick update of my health. As you may or may not know, I did have a heart attack on Halloween and I had open heart surgery on November 3rd. So I'm just about two weeks post-op and uh, while I still get very tired very easily <clears throat> and talking makes me tired and I lose my breath, uh, I'm getting stronger every day and I feel good. Um, my friends and family have been really, really helpful and uh, I have a great person taking care of me. So without further ado, let's talk about this Fritz Freshwater and Saltwater Master Test Kit. My good friend Keith from KGE Aquatics uh, sent this to me to try out. So um, I did get this for free as always, I tell you that, but that doesn't really matter, as you know, if you watch any of my review videos. So we're gonna unbox it and try it for the first time together. Now, if you're one of those people that believe that the API master test kit is the end all to tests, okay, I'm not gonna change your mind. I use test strips, the aquarium comb test strips are my favorite. <coughs> <laughs> and uh, here's how I look at it. Early on in my fish keeping career, I watched Corey from Aquarium Co-op back when he had like 5,000 subscribers and he mentioned test strips. And I thought to myself, that dude has his own store and his own fish room in his house and he trusts test strips. I have a couple tanks. I can tr trust test strips as well. Now, sure, are there differences between the liquid test and the test strips, yes. Test strips, if you don't buy the right ones, they don't work. If you buy the cheap ones, they don't work. If you keep them open to humidity, they start to fail rather quickly. Some people claim the ammonia test isn't very accurate. Usually you need a separate test strip for ammonia for those tests. Uh, a lot of people say the nitrite test isn't accurate. They always get a low reading when it's really high. I've never had that problem, ever. I've always used them according to directions, always keep the, the lid tight. All right, this isn't a video about the test strips. What I'm saying is, just because the internet on social media says test strips are crap, they're not crap. But let's talk about this liquid text, test kit from Fritz. So it comes with four glass tubes. They're similar to the API test tubes. I don't know if they break as easy. Hopefully I won't find out. They have the five milliliter line and the top comes this handy dandy uh, foam case. And you have the actual <laughs> liquid tests. Two for ammonia, <clears throat> one for nitrite, second one for nitrite, one for nitrate, <coughs> and one wide range pH. Now, one thing that I already like about this kit, <coughs> I'm fine. <clears throat> I mean, I'm really not fine, but you know what I'm saying. One thing I really like about this kit is it does salt water also. And since I have that salt water tank and I've never, ever, ever, ever tested the water, I'm gonna test the water. I also am currently testing another product, which I'm gonna do probably my next video on that um, measures like pH and salinity and temperature and some other things that I don't really know anything about uh, digitally. Um, it's funny because they sent me, they asked if I was interested in this product. And I'm like, yeah, send it to me. Like, I I don't know. And they sent it to me. And then they followed up like every week. When are you going to do the video? When are you going to do the video? When are you going to do the video? And here's a really good thing, actually. They sent me an email while I was in the hospital. Hey, it's been two weeks. When are you going to do the video? And I didn't answer because, you know, I was in the hospital, open heart surgery. Like a few days later, they emailed back and said, oh my God, we saw your latest video. We hope you're doing well. Take your time, heal. Like they were really cool about it. So that makes me happy. All right, folks, I'm rambling and it I get tired. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break, but you're gonna see just a quick transition of me getting tank water from my freshwater tank over here. We'll do that test. Then I'll do a saltwater tank test with this tank over here. So refill your snack and beverage, stand by. All right, fishy folks, so the kit comes with the test tubes, 
all the bottles and the instructions and on the instructions are the color chart. And from what I've seen, all of them have two different charts, one for fresh, one for salt. Uh, the instructions for the ammonia is pretty simple. Fill a clean test suit with five milliliters of water, add eight drops of test solution one, make sure you hold the bottle vertical to get the drops even size, add eight drops of bottle two, cap the test tube and shake for five seconds, wait five minutes. That's what we're gonna do. Now folks, in this glass, I have some delicious freshwater tank water. Um, and when I do these tests, rarely, if ever, but when I do do them, I use a syringe like this. Now this one I got um, probably from my soon to be ex-wife. She brought, used to bring these things home when she worked on the floor. Um, but I'm gonna put a link down below for Amazon. Click that link, buy a syringe, don't buy a syringe. I don't really care. But do all your Amazon shopping after you click that link and help your boy with some shekels. All right, so here we go. First thing, take the test tube out, put it back in the little holder and pull some water in our syringe. Actually, I'm gonna kind of fill it up and then I'm gonna add it to the test tube to the five milliliter line. Just like that. I'm gonna shake these because that's what I do. Open these up. They are childproof, so hopefully I'll be able to open them probably because my mind is a 12 year old boy. Eight drops, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we put the cap on, shake for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's close bottle one up. I'm gonna take ammonia test solution two, shake it, cause that's what we do. Open it up, eight drops, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're gonna ask our handy dandy assistant to set a timer. Alexa, set an ammonia test timer for five minutes. Let me know down in the comments below if your Alexa set a timer. I'll be back in five minutes. Alexa, stop the timer. All right, so now, now we take the test tube and we hold it up against the white part on the card like this and we can see we have zero ammonia. <gasps> Shocker. I'm not really shocked. All right, folks, we're gonna do the other tests. Stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Yes, I've changed my shirt. That's because it's about 24 hours later. Um, when you have open heart surgery and you're only two weeks post-op, you tend to get tired quite easily. And after talking for like 10 minutes yesterday, I was pretty tired. And then uh, after I, even after I rested, I was like, man, nah, I'm just gonna chill. Anyway, let's get back to the test. So for you guys, it's only been 30 seconds. For me, it's 24 hours. So. Just remember, I did the ammonia test, everything came out good. We're gonna do the three other tests, uh, nitrite, nitrate, and wide range pH. And we're gonna do them all together. So first we'll do the nitrite test, which the instructions are fill the clean test tube with five milliliters of water, which I did. Add five drops from the nitrite test solution, holding dropper bottle upside down and in a completely vertical position to make sure uniform of the drops. Wait five minutes. So basically, we're gonna take the nitrite solution. We're gonna shake her up. We're gonna add five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Alexa, set a nitrite timer for five minutes. Next one is nitrite. Sorry, nitrate. Shake, 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 Sonora. All right. <clears throat> this one actually says for test bottle two, shake vigorously. So uh, if you ever have used the API test, you got to shake the ever living bejesus out of it. Like they tell you to slam it on the table to make sure it mixes because I, I believe it crystallizes. But this one is um, 10 drops shake the test tube, then 10 drops, 
after shaking vigorously, shake the test tube for one minute, it says. So this one's gonna be long. And I can't open it. There we go. All right, 10 drops, nitrate solution one. And shake several times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know you can't see the drops because of the camera angle. You're just gonna have to trust me. <clears throat> shake. Then we're going to vigorously shake. Volume two. Go ahead, make jokes. I dare you. Make them. Make them. I gotta wait six weeks. Anyway. All right. Vigorously shaken. Right? Add 10 drops. And then we have to shake the test tube for one minute. I don't believe the API test has you do that, but it's been years since I've used it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alexa, that's the wrong one. Alexa, set a shaking timer for one minute. Shaking timer, one minute, starting now. Talks amongst yourselves. A couple things about this kit I like better than the API kit already. One, um, it's good for salt water too. And since I have both fresh and salt water, it's a good thing Two, It comes with these cards, um, with corrective actions. Now, of course, the corrective actions are usually buy this product or do a water change, whatever it does tell you and help you what to do. And it kind of explains it. So that's good. Um, I'm assuming the test tubes are the same <clears throat> as API. Still shaking. My arm's getting tired. We're gonna sw switch arms. Guys, if you're still watching this. Your shaking timer is done. Alexa, stop the shaking timer. You don't have a timer called shaking, but there is one that I have. Alexa, set a nitrate timer for five minutes. Okay, the last one is pH. And for the pH test, five milliliters, three drops, and then immediately match the color. Shake, immediately match the color. One, two, three. Oop, I think I added too many. I think four came out, so let's see. I mean, according to this, yeah, four came out. Stand by. All right, folks, uh, the nitrite timer just went out, which is this one, and you can see zero, which we're good. Now we gotta add five milliliters of water for the pH one again, and this time don't screw it up, Mike. All right, let's do this again. Only three drops this time. One, two, three. Actually, there's a hole. Well, that's not good, folks. See how it's dripping out the side? That means I can't get the right amount. That means this test is gonna be valid no matter what I do, which means I gotta call the company and see what's up, because this, is definitely not right. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? There are no timers set. Well, I'm gonna go, it's about five minutes for this one. And it looks like nitrate, we have, I don't know, 10 parts per million, maybe 20. What do you think? I think 20. It's a little easier to read than the API kit, but 
it's still difficult. Is there a difference between 5, 10, 20, and 40? A little bit. Is there a difference for the fish? Probably not. I'm going to say this is probably 10 because it's a, no, I just added plants. I'm going to say it's 20 because there weren't that many plants in there. I did get some more plants from KG Aquatics. So there we are. All right, folks, other than <coughs> this test being jacked up, which I'm going to let you know what the company says. Um, I like the test kit. I like the fact that it comes with these cards. Let me, let me read what it says as an example for, <coughs> for the ammonia test. <clears throat> it tells you why to test for ammonia and some of the symptoms, heavy breathing, clamped fins, discoloration, um, but corrective actions, any detectable ammonia should be dealt with immediately, reduce feeding, perform a water change, and add a chemical ammonia remover like Fritz ACCR or Fritz Complete. Now that's a little misleading because it doesn't actually remove ammonia, it neutralizes it. So I got a problem with that. And it says zero, <coughs> sorry, 0. 0.5 to one part per million, temporary stop feeding, perform a partial water change, approximately 25%, detoxify ammonia with Fritz ACCR or Fritz Complete water conditioner, add Fritz Dime nitrifying bacteria. Now that's all good. I wouldn't do a water change, that's a waste of time. I would simply add ACCR because that's what I have or Fritz Complete. <clears throat> um, and I wouldn't add, <coughs> add the nitrifying bacteria, I'm fine. But you know, they're a company trying to sell their products. It wouldn't hurt <coughs> and it would definitely help, but I don't know that you need it. So. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this kit. Um, my next video, I'm actually gonna be um, doing a comparison with something for the saltwater tank, which tests pH and stuff like that. Actually, I guess I can't do that because the pH bottle is leaking. So I'm gonna call the company and let you know what they say. Folks, check out kgeaquatics.com for all your <coughs> fishery needs. They sell the Fritz line, Dr. Basilier's plants, other hardscaping stuff, almost everything you would need for your hobby needs. So thanks very much, guys. Have a great day. Again, if you want to support the channel, click on any one of the Amazon links and buy all your Christmas presents. That would be great. The other thing, if you want to support the channel, just watch all my videos, all of them, all 700 or whatever, and tell all your friends. All right, guys, have a great day. All right, fishy folks. Yes, I've changed my shirt because it's another day. Stuff happens. You get tired when you have open heart surgery. Two weeks ago, yeah, today, Friday, two weeks post-op. To be honest, I really feel good. Look at this fucking leaf right here. What the, what am I, some kind of jabroni? I don't even know what that is. It's some Italian thing. All right, let's start over. Add five drops of the nitrite test solution. Holding dropper. That's holding, yeah. Add five drops from nitrate test solution, holding, hold, frig. Add five drops. <coughs> now I'm coughing. Yeah.